His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa attended the conclusion of the Arabian Gulf Security One exercise that was hosted in the Kingdom of Bahrain from October 27th to November 16th in participation of security forces from the GCC countries. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa was also present. His Majesty was received by the Interior Minister Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, senior officials, and Interior Ministries officers. His Majesty met the guests of the GCC countries, the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Interior Minister Prince Mohammed bin Naif bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, Qatar's Prime Minister and Minister of Interior Sheikh Abdullah bin Nasser bin Khalifa Al Thani, UAE Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Interior Lieutenant General Sheikh Saif bin Zayed Al Nahyan, Kuwait Deputy Prime Minister Minister of Interior Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalid Al Hamad Al Sabah. Command Minister of Interior, Mahmoud bin Faisal Al Busaidi, and GCC Secretary General Dr. Abdul Latif Al Zayani. His Majesty welcomed the guests and expressed appreciation for attending this big event. The Royal Highnesses conveyed greetings of their Majesties and leaders of the GCC to His Majesty King Hamad and their wishes for further progress and prosperity to the Kingdom of Bahrain. His Majesty then requested the Royal Highnesses to convey his greetings to the leaders of the GCC countries and his wishes for further prosperity to their countries. His Majesty affirmed the deep-rooted relations among the GCC countries and the cooperation and coordination in the security field. He praised the exerted efforts of the interior ministers in assuming their responsibilities and maintaining security and stability and the safety of the people. His Majesty praised Bahrain's organizing of this event, affirming the importance of such exercises and their role in strengthening relations and exchanging expertise. استاذن جلالتكم باستراف حرس الشرف سيدي
The Interior Minister then delivered a speech in which he expressed his honor to welcome His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to the final joint exercise of the GCC Security Forces Arabian Gulf Security One exercise. He said that this exercise is a major step in the march towards security cooperation between the GCC countries, which establishes a new phase in field security cooperation. He noted the importance of the exercise in facing challenges and threats that face the region, particularly terrorism, and lauded its role in reinforcing teamwork. He added that it has outlined the security map of the GCC. الذي نشهد فيه فعاليات التمرين النهائي المشترك للقوات الأمنية بدول مجلس التعاون أمن الخليج العربي واحد والذي انطلق في السابع والعشرين من شهر أكتوبر واستمر حتى هذا اليوم بعد فترة من الإعداد والتخطيط والتحضير واضعين في الاعتبار التحديات والتهديدات وعلى رأسها تهديد الإرهاب في المنطقة ونحمده سبحانه وتعالى على هذا اللقاء الأمني الأخوي الذي يأتي تلبية لطموحات أصحاب الجلال والسمو قادة دول المجلس حفظهم الله ورعاهم وبدعم ومؤازرة من الأشقاء أصحاب السمو والمعالي وزراء الداخلية بدول مجلس التعاون لدول الخليج العربية سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلال الملك المفدى الحضور الكريم لقد شكل هذا التمرين نقلة رائدة على طريق مسيرة التعاون الأمني بين دولنا وعكس مدى التلاحم والتكاتف في أداء الواجبات الأمنية مما يؤسس لمرحلة جديدة من التعاون الأمني الميداني على أرض الواقع وإنما كان بالأمس تخطيطا نظريا أصبح اليوم الحمد لله واقعا عمليا ميدانيا فقد تدربنا بصورة مشتركة غير مسبوقة ولكن المهم في الأمر أننا أدركنا أهمية ما تدربنا عليه وإن أقصر وأفضل الطرق لتحقيق التجانس والتنسيق هو العمل المشترك في الميدان فقد بدأنا تدريبنا بتطبيق إجراءات مختلفة وانتهينا بإنجاز الواجبات المطلوبة من خلال تطبيق إجراءات عمل موحدة الأمر الذي عزز لدى الجميع الثقة بالعمل المشترك وروح الفريق الواحد وأدرك كل واحد منا معنى وأهمية العمق الأمني وإن هذا العمل المشترك الناجح نحن مطالبون بأن نبني عليه ونعمل على تطويره وهو في الوقت ذاته جوابنا الأمني الموحد لمن أراد أن يعبث بأمن بلداننا وخلاصة القول إن تمرين الخليج العربي واحد قد وضح حدود الخارطة الأمنية لدول المجلس مؤكدا بأن أمننا الداخلي كل لا يتجزأ علما بأن هذا الأمر لا ينتهي بنا في ميدان التدريب أو من خلال عملية أمنية مشتركة بل من خلال عملنا الأمني المشترك اليومي من قبل مختلف الأجهزة الأمنية وإن مسؤوليات هؤلاء الرجال في المحافظة على الأمن والنظام العام وحماية الأرواح والمصالح المشتركة إنما هي واجبات لم يحددها القانون بوقت لأنها مسؤوليات دائمة يتطلب تنفيذها الحضور الأمني بصورة مستمرة مع التمسك بقيم الولاء والانضباط والنزاهة والالتزام ونحن مدركون على كل حال بأن عملية تطبيق القانون لا يوجد في مفهومها التراجع أو الانسحاب بل أنها عملية مستمرة هدفها العدالة وتحقيق الأمان المنشود على الدوام سيدي أستأذن مقام جلالتكم السامي 
بصفتي قائدا للتمرين المشترك ان اتوجه بالشكر الجزيل للاخوه رؤساء الوفود المشاركه ورئيس واعضاء هيئه السيطره وكذلك رئيس واعضاء لجنه التقييم والكوادر الاداريه كما اخص بالشكر قاده ومنسوبي القوه المشاركه في التمرين على التزامهم وتعاونهم وتحليهم بروح المسؤوليه وعلى مشاركتهم الفعاله النابعه من ايمانهم بدورهم الكبير في الحفاظ على امن دولنا واستقراره والشكر موصول الى قوه دفاع البحرين والحرس الوطني على المسانده التدريبيه والاداريه سيدي حظه صاحب الجلال الملك المفدى حفظكم الله ورعاك نسال الله ان يحفظ جلالتكم قائدا وبانيا لنهضه البحرين المباركه وان يؤيدكم بالنصر والتمكين وان يديم سبحانه وتعالى نعمه الامن والاستقرار على اوطاننا انه نعم المولى ونعم النصير والسلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته Then the participating security forces presented the security assumptions included in the exercise through practical field exercises for security confrontation dealing with situations in every assumption from the part of the main security and the support forces, which reflects their advanced level and preparation and guarantees the unification of security work.
The parade carried out a security demonstration and the organizers of the exercise greeted His Majesty where he thanked them for their efforts in aiding the success of the exercise and wished them further success. His Majesty the King voiced admiration for the high skills, training and operation applications he witnessed. This in addition to the high standard performance and security readiness of the participating forces which was within an integrated security framework. Such training exercise demonstrates the unity and contribution of the participating GCC forces. يبدأ الآن عرضا عسكريا أمام المقصورة الملكية حيث يتكون طابور الاستعراض من وحدات رمزية تمثل قوات الأمن لدول مجلس التعاون الخليجي ها هو طابور الاستعراض في هذا اليوم الماجد وأمام المنصة الملكية الرئيسية قادة سرايا مجلس التعاون الخليجي حيث تشكيلة المشاة والأسلحة بعتاد القوة وعتاد الفكر والمسؤولية إنها عدة أمن وسلام قبل أن تكون عتاد قوة ها هي قوات الأمن الخاصة حسب أفرع متنوعة تابعة لوزارات الداخلية والموكل لها مهام أمنية مختلفة تحقق الهدف الأسماء وهو حفظ أمن الوطن الداخلي سيما ومساندة قطاعات الأمن الأخرى ومكافحة الإرهاب وأمن الطائرات وأمن السفارات وإزالة واكتشاف المتفجرات بالإضافة للحماية المجتمعية وحماية وحراسة الحدود إنها كما تقولون وإنها كما يقولها قادتنا وتثق بها شعوبنا إنها عقيدتنا التكاملية والتي تكللت وستكلل اليوم بنجاح يتقدمون وهم يهتفون مؤكدين يا صاحب الجلالة أن أمنهم واحد ومصيرهم واحد وهم على قلب رجل واحد في هذا التمرين الأمني الخليجي الأول في مملكة البحرين يبرهن أبناؤكم رجال أمن الخليج البواسل للعالم أجمع ومهاراتهم الميدانية المتنوعة ومن أرض هذا الميدان العظيم أن أمن الخليج العربي والسلام طريقا فرجال أمن الخليج لهم بالمرصاد كلمة في هذا اليوم المجيد 
كلمة يسطرها أبناؤكم يا جلالة الملك يسطرها أبناؤكم بمداد الجهد والعرق والاستعداد والجاهزية العالية والمهارات المتميزة لمن تسول له نفسه المساس بأمن دول خليجنا العربي أيها الحفل الكريم لقد جاء هذا التمرين سيدي صاحب الجلالة أصحاب المعالي سيارة استطلاع وغرفة عمليات مسقرة بالإضافة إلى رجلين آليين تحتوي على جهازين لمكافحة المتفجرات ممكن من خلالها متابعة ثم يليها عربات مصفحة تصفيح عالي لنقل رجال الأمن لآداء مهماتهم بسرعة عالية عربات ام تي المصفحة والتي تستخدم لنقل رجال الأمن لكافة مهامهم ومواقعهم المختلفة يستعرضون أمام أنظار جلالتكم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بكل فخر واعتزاز أرحب بهذا الاستماع المبارك الأخوي والاحترافي وفي الواقع لنا أمل أن نلتقي معكم في الغريب بإذن الله في إحدى دولنا من مجلس التعاون فشكرا وتحياتنا إلى جميع الإخوة الذين يعملون معكم في حفظ الأمن وردع أعداء الأمة فشكرا
on the occasion of the International Day of Tolerance. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa addressed Bahrainis and residents in the kingdom with a letter in which he said that uh, this occasion is a reminder of the genuine Bahraini values inherited from their fathers and forefathers over numerous centuries and of the kingdom's glorious past, prosperous present and bright future. He also said that tolerance, which is celebrated by the world and by Bahrain, is an integral part of the culture of the Bahraini people, who have always set a vivid example of such noble values that have always been an essential part of the identity of the diverse and unique components of the kingdom's people. His Majesty said that Bahrain was built on the values of tolerance, openness, love and coexistence, which has made it an oasis of peace for all religions, faiths and ethnicities. And all generations have been particularly proud, proud of this achievement. His Majesty said that citizens and residents live and work together in harmony, regardless of their origins, and this reflects the prevalence of tolerance in Bahrain and among its people and their determination to upkeep it. He also said that his pride in the tolerance of Bahrain society can be seen in its people in the coexistence of mosques, churches and Hindu and Jewish temples. His Majesty said he has shouldered the responsibility of preserving Bahrain's multicultural society, boosting the values of accepting the other and respecting plurality and differences to the extent that such values have been enshrined in Bahrain's constitution and national laws. He said that he firmly or firmly intended or intends to take all the necessary constructive measures to boost tolerance in Bahrain societies based on the strong belief that tolerance is not only a principle that generates pride. His Majesty said that tolerance is a value that is deeply anchored in Bahrain's traditions in the true teaching of Islam and in the social or the societal cohesion for which the people of Bahrain have been known throughout history. It is also based on the belief that it is an urgent necessity for people peace and economic and social progress for all people across the world. His Majesty also said that celebrating tolerance is the Bahraini model of respecting, accepting and appreciating the rich diversity of their world's cultures. He finally said that Bahrain accepts no form of tampering with the principles of a religion or sex. Anyone who contravenes these principles does not possess anything from the genuine values known in the kingdom. His Royal Highness uh, the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa were at the forefront of those who received the Saudi Crown Prince Deputy Premier Interior Minister Prince Mohammed bin Naif bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud as he arrived in Bahrain to attend the closing of the Arabian Gulf Security One exercise. Also present were state officials, GCC Secretary General and the Saudi Ambassador to Bahrain. Later, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister received in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Interior Minister. His Royal Highness uh, the Prime Minister lauded the initiatives of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, that strengthened the cohesion of the Gulf and affirmed uh, that the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, under his uh, wise leadership, continues to make initiatives that urge unity and cooperation on the level of the Gulf and the Arab world. His Royal Highness emphasized the importance of joint uh, Gulf meetings, which increased the Gulf's ability to face dangers through intensifying cooperation, particularly in the field of security. He commended the honorable stances of Saudi Arabia in supporting in the support of Arab and Islamic causes and expressed Bahrain's appreciation to the unlimited support it receives from Saudi Arabia. The Royal Highness, uh, the Prime Minister and Crown Prince affirmed the distinctiveness of Bahrain's relations with Saudi Arabia in the light of rich history the two countries share. They noted the development of these relations because of the keen interest of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques. They also noted Bahrain's interest in further developing the bilateral relations and cooperation in all fields. They commended the prosperity and development of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia under the wise leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques and his efforts to continue the march of development in the country.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today Qatar's Prime Minister and Minister of Interior Sheikh Abdullah bin Nasser bin Khalifa Al Thani on the occasion of his visit to the kingdom to participate in Arabian Gulf Security One. Sheikh Abdullah conveyed the greetings of the Emir of Qatar Sheikh Tamim bin Mohammed Al Thani and his appreciation for His Royal Highness's role in supporting and enhancing bilateral ties in various fields. His Royal Highness highlighted the relations between the two countries and the development of their joint cooperation in various fields, stating the Kingdom's keenness on enhancing cooperation with Qatar and other Gulf Cooperation Council countries. The Prime Minister also affirmed that Bahraini-Qatari relations achieved integration and interdependence on a solid foundation based on the principles of mutual respect and a shared future vision. His Royal Highness hailed the development manifestations in Qatar and requested Sheikh Abdullah to convey his greetings and wishes of good health to the Emir of Qatar and further development and progress for his country. His Royal Highness reviewed the latest regional and international developments with his Qatari counterpart, asserting that the current challenges call for intensifying GCC meetings to clarify visions and strategies that maintain security and stability in the region. Sheikh Abdullah expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his interest in supporting and enhancing Bahraini Qatar relations, stressing his country's efforts in supporting further Gulf coordination. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today UAE Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Interior Lieutenant General Sheikh Saif bin Zayed Al Nahyan at the conclusion of the Arabian Gulf Security One exercise. The Prime Minister noted the brotherly relations between Bahrain and the UAE and the development of the joint cooperation it witnesses in all fields. He also affirmed the Kingdom's keenness to move forward with cooperation for it to reach border fields and be in line with the privacy and solidity of the ties between the two countries. His Royal Highness affirmed the importance of joint Gulf Cooperation Council meetings, especially targeting the increase of cooperation and security preparations between the GCC members that include proper handling of security developments in the region and resulting threats with terrorism in the forefront. His Royal Highness also noted UAE's supporting positions to the kingdom under the leadership of the President of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan. UAE Deputy Prime Minister expressed his appreciation of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's keenness on enhancing the prospects of Bahraini Emirati cooperation and coordination that achieved the interests of the two countries and their people.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today met with Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince, First Deputy Prime Minister and the Minister of Interior Prince Mohammed bin Nayef bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, Qatar's Prime Minister, Minister of Interior Sheikh Abdullah bin Nasser bin Khalifa Al Thani, UAE's Deputy Prime Minister, Minister of Interior Lieutenant General Sheikh Saif bin Zayed Al Nahyan, Kuwait's Deputy Prime Minister, Minister of Interior Sheikh Mohammed Khalid Al Hamad Al Sabah, Oman's Minister Minister of Interior Hamoud bin Faisal Al Busaidi and Bahrain's Minister of Interior Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa following the conclusion of the Gulf Cooperation Council's joint security exercise, the Arab Gulf Security One, at the Royal Academy of Police. The Crown Prince welcomed the participation of the GCC partner countries and highlighted the success of the exercise, which was held in Bahrain from October 27th until November 16th. During the meeting, His Royal Highness underscored the strength of the GCC's cooperation and coordination and its ongoing regional challenges. In this regard, His Royal Highness highlighted the GCC's united effort to maintain regional security and stability, a key pillar of long-term sustainable development. The Arab Gulf Security One exercise comes as a result of a multilateral GCC security agreement aimed at boosting readiness. The drill provided a unique opportunity for joint GCC coordination on security strategies and measures through a real-life simulation in order to combat any potential security challenges facing or faced within the region. In this regard, the Crown Prince praised the outstanding performance of all participating GCC security forces. His Royal Highness also hosted a lunch banquet honoring the arrival of the GCC Ministers of Interior and marking the conclusion of Arab Gulf Security One. The banquet provided an opportunity for the GCC Ministers to discuss a range of issues related to further supporting joint cooperation and coordination to ensure long-term regional security and stability. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa bade farewell to the Saudi Crown Prince Premier Minister of Interior His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Nayef bin Abdulaziz Al Saud after his visit to the kingdom to witness the conclusion joint training exercise Arabian Gulf Security One. Also at Sheikh Isa Air Base to bade farewell was the Minister of Interior Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa and the Saudi Ambassador to the kingdom and senior officials. Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa inaugurated the opening ceremony of the fourth political media forum under the theme Media and the Gulf Identity, organized by Bahrain Institute for Political Development, the BIPD. He affirmed that media figures and the press are important to bring the views of the people together, spread the values of unity and cooperation, and focus on reinforcing a shared Gulf identity. They are also responsible for alerting people of the dangers of hatred, racism and sectarianism. The Deputy Prime Minister called for a joint action to reflect the Gulf identity and enable the media to spread this message that would create 
participate in a generation who is committed to the values of their region. Minister of Information Affairs then delivered a speech in which he affirmed that the form val or comes uh, within the institute Institute's commitment to convey reform directives and human values to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa in accordance with the provisions of the Constitution and principles of the National Action Charter and developing political awareness and maintaining the Kingdom's national and historic pillars as an active member and key partner for the GCC march towards union. The minister thanked the Deputy Prime Minister on his patronage of the form in the light of his interest in various developmental sectors in the kingdom. Sheikh Khaled honored the winners with the award of the Arab Gulf Forum for Political Media in the field of journalistic contributions regarding the culture of civil peace.